Hi everyone, I'm Pete Kelly and welcome to Highlights of AFC Russian and Diamonds against AFC Dunstable from the FA Vars on Tuesday evening only on AFC RD TV. So with the Diamonds getting a somewhat nervy 1-1 draw in the original tie of this match which took the tie to a replay. It was Diamonds who had the best of the opening opportunities. And the first main one after good work down the right hand side brought the ball as far as Russ Dunkley although his effort went just wide. And Dunstable's best opportunity of the opening moments of that first half went to BJ Christie although Tom Cross was equal to it. And then on 10 minutes time left back Sam Brown in another great run down that left hand side crossed the ball in as far as Russ Dunkley who had made sure that no defence were anywhere near him and he smashed the ball into the back of the net for a diamonds opener. That was before Aaron King had a stinging shot saved by keeper Derby for Dunstable. And a little bit later on, Joe Merrill, who had made a good run down that right-hand side, had a shot skim off the crossbar. Christie was dangerous, though, and Tom Cross had to do well there to stop the Dunstable man shot. Before one of the most flowing moves of the first period, through Aaron King. Nice interplay there, where the shot went wide before Nat Lieberd who was active on both flanks this time on the left hand side cutting in and his shot struck the upright so with Diamonds in control generally in the first half everyone was expecting Diamonds to go in the break 1-0 up although then things went a little bit interesting Joe Merrill went in perhaps a little bit hard on a Dunstable man under not too much pressure the referee Mr Hardy shocked one or two people in the ground by giving Merrill a straight red and from the resultant free kick, the Diamonds didn't clear their lines adequately. And it came to Jonathan Barnett, who tucked away the equaliser. AFC Russian and Diamonds won. AFC Dunstable won. And with the Diamonds a little bit surprised at that stage, that is the way we found ourselves at half-time. So the Diamonds management team had one or two things to consider, although to their credit, they continued to attack in the second period. And the rewards were found only a few moments into that second half. A long throw. Russ Dunkley headed it on as far as Alfie Taylor, who made no mistake with his header. And he gave Diamonds a 2-1 lead in the 49th minute. And just one minute later, nice interplay again by the Diamond strikers into Russ Dunkley, who fired home his second of the evening to make it FC Russian and Diamonds 3, AFC Dunstable 1. And Diamond's dominance was such that really you wouldn't have been able to tell that it was Diamonds who were one man down. There, Harris having a shot from distance going just wide. And later on, a Dunstable defender knocked the ball accidentally into his own net. Although as he was under plenty of pressure from Alfie Taylor, who looked as if he may have been in an offside position, referee chalked that one off. But in eight particularly impressive second half performance still more and more chances came there Dunkley's shot getting saved by Derby and that's the way of finishing this one AFC Russian and Diamonds 3 AFC Dunstable 1 and Diamonds go through to the next round of the Vars here we are after AFC Russian and Diamonds 3-1 win over AFC Dunstable in the FA Vars replay as ever we're with uh, first team manager Mark Starmer Mark your thoughts on that game? They really deserved, if I'm honest. Um, I thought 40 minutes in, we should have been out of sight. The game should have been dead and buried. I thought we played exceptionally well, got the goal, continued to play well, continued to create chances, but didn't stick them in. And they're on a bad side, um, so they always like to do something. Um, and then we got the sending off, um, which reports are that he stamped on him, so if he stamped on him, he deserved it. Um, but then we considered a sloppy goal. So, yeah, I was fuming at half time. Um, the fact that they're even in the game, because they shouldn't have been in the game. We should have been outside. And um, decided to <coughs> keep positive, um, go three at the back instead of the four, um, which we thought would 
allow them to have a lot of possession up front and Dunk's doing doggies in Dunk style. So two up front and four across the middle and have a real good go to the first 10, 15 minutes and it paid off. So at the end of the day, we got what we deserved. We're in the in the next round and thoroughly deserve that. So. Yeah, it was a cracking start to the game and it could have been 1-1 one, one after about 10 minutes. Yeah, it could have been. But, you know, as, as the game went on, we, we were more dominant and in total control of the game. You know, we felt on the bench. Um, and you always get concerned when you're not taking your chances consistently. And we, and we didn't do that today in the first half. And, you know, it could have been the sending off nearly mattered. You know, at half time, we needn't have been worried about it because we should have been out of sight. So, and that's what I was disappointed with at half time. So, no, we've deserved it, mate. So. Yeah. Um, nice goal when it came with uh, through Russ. Took it well. Is uh, that what we can expect from him now? Now he's getting into his game a bit more. Yeah, no, he, he, you know, he, he'll score goals with his head and with his with his feet, and uh, it was a good move. It was good, good build up and a good finish. And but it'd been like that for 10, 15, 20 minutes. You know, we we had a lot of Nat, Nat out wide had done what I asked him to do, get out him with pace and get crosses in, and we did that. And you know, after missed one earlier, then there was another miss just after that, and another miss and. Eventually, we got the goal, but then another goal then would have really settled the nerves, I think. And you always get the feeling, I suppose, as players as well, if you keep missing, one mistake could cost us here. And, you know, fortunately, tonight it didn't. So. And then, uh, second half, with only 10 men, we got two quick goals, and that seemed to knock the stuffing out of Dunstable. Yeah, well, that's what we thought. You know, if we can go, you know, we've, in many ways, we'd, we'd been on top in the first half playing the way we play to continue doing that and if you do that they don't get the ball the three at the back doesn't won't hurt us and we did we started really brightly and um, you know, got the goals so yeah it would knock the stuff out you know they'd have been at half time thinking they got a real good chance and um, you know as for the performance I asked for um, everyone to sort of man up and be counted and they did that in the second half and uh, we saw a couple of changes, um, Sam coming back in and uh, Faisal starting and Aaron King starting. I'd guess a couple of those would have been uh, through injuries, certainly with Matt Gearing. Yeah, uh, and we just, again, we just want to keep people active and, and freshen up a little bit and um, not let people go stale on the bench. And King has deserved his chance and, and took it and I thought it was an excellent first half not just with his forward runs but defensively as well you know stopping a lot of ball getting through to their strikers um, I thought he did very well Faze um, obviously does what he does and um, Sam came back in he had a fitness test before the game and, and got through that so yeah this afternoon he wasn't in my plans but he's, he's come through so that was, that was fine and Joe Merrill said that the half time team talk was uh, well he said decent which I think for the youngsters means that it was really inspiring. Uh, Joe wouldn't have understood it anyway. No, I think I, <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, so Joe never listens to me. No matter what team talk I give, Joe wouldn't listen. So, um, no, it, I was I was angry, you know, and frustrated the fact that the game went dead and buried, uh, and that we give them a sniff and, and they're back in it, and now we're up against it with ten men. But we got through that. They responded in the perfect way, um, and like I say. You know, thoroughly deserved the, the victory. And Hoddesdon up next in uh, about 10 days' time here at Dog and Duck. Do you know anything about those? Yeah, playing Sam League is this. It's Dunstable and Colney and, and, and those, so they're going to be very similar to what we've played already. So no, we'll be ready for it. Obviously, we've got a, an important game on Saturday against um, Cock Fosters in, in the Cup, so we'll be ready for that. Train Thursday, and um, yeah, we'll look forward to. Saturday first, take that one on board and see where we go from there. Well, it's been a great cup season for us so far. Um, let's hope it continues on Saturday and we look forward to speaking to you after that. I hope so. Cheers. Here I am with man of the match, Aaron King. Aaron, your thoughts on the game? Yeah, I thought we uh, played really well first half. Didn't kill them off. We had a lot of chances. Could have been at least five. But, you know, then uh, sending off didn't help us, but we come out. Gaffer wanted to go out and try and win the game. And come out first ten minutes, thought we were quality, put them under the caution, and we didn't really threaten for the second half. So I thought it was a real good performance. Um, and your first start of the season, um, you've waited your chance, and uh, you certainly took it tonight. Has it been 
frustrating for you not being involved from the start? Yeah, it's been frustrating, but when the team's doing well, you can't really can't really moan too much. But yeah, I thought I had to take my chance, and I thought I did. So. Yeah, and uh, what was your view of the sending off? Well, I didn't think it was a sending off. But... Yeah, and uh, you saw the goals. Well, um, you're unlucky not to score yourself in the second half. Yeah, I should have scored, but Alfie's was, didn't seem to uh, want to pass to me tonight. But maybe next week. Yeah, Alfie doesn't pass to anybody ever, does he? <laughs> I know. No, he took his head a well though. So. Yeah. And. Uh, Looking forward to Saturday now. You'd be hoping to keep your starting place? I hope so, yeah. Before I put a good performance in, so I hope that's stuck in his mind to keep me in the team. OK, well, it's good to talk to you, Aaron. Um, congratulations on today and uh, look forward to seeing you on Saturday.